This appears to be the best teleprompter you can buy. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I am holding in my hand here a teleprompter, and I have thought about buying one of these in the past, but have never done it. And that's because when you look online at teleprompters for home use, for studios, for influencers, for meetings, for training, whatever, they're basically just a mirror and a hood. And you have to kind of figure out how to actually set them up as a teleprompter. And oftentimes there's an app and you put it on your iPad and then you slide your iPad in there and it reverses the image and you have to kind of load a document into the app so that it flips it right. And then you have to figure out a way to control it. And it just seemed like it wasn't worth the effort, right? It's certainly not like a teleprompter television studio where you've got someone running that teleprompter and you don't have to think about it. But this is by Elgato. I use one of their webcams. They're fantastic. And they sent out an email that they were building a teleprompter. And at first I was like, dude, it's really expensive. Teleprompters aren't that expensive. This one was like 250 bucks. So it's not necessarily cheap. But from what I can tell, this is the one that you want. And for that price, I think it's actually a pretty good value because of everything that you get here. So this is obviously made for like the home market, right? Your average home consumer, creator, work from home, meeting trainer, comes nicely packaged. And the thing I wanna show you here first is that we get a box on the top and I'm gonna guess that, ooh, we get some instructions and then we get some accessories here. So USB cable, universal shroud backplate, DSLR mirrorless backplate, and then setup rings here. So the thing about this is obviously you're gonna have to use your own camera. My hope is that it will work with this iPhone right here. And that is because I shoot everything with it because it is fantastic. I also use a little shotgun mic, a Rode studio mic. And so I'm kind of curious how that will work as well. So here are these adapter rings, USB cable right here because you're going to basically want to use this with your laptop like right, with your computer it's going to plug in here with usb a to usb c you might need an adapter if you're using a mac i'm going to be using it with an older macbook air because i'm going to make a little setup for training and that uses regular usb but the nice thing about it is it will just set up like an external monitor and i think it will do all the reversing and all that stuff automatically so hopefully we won't have any issues with that we've got a adapter plate here for those little rings and then here we've got that shroud it's just kind of like a big black handkerchief with a cutout and then you would put this in here you would use the right adapter plate i'm going to show you all of that now we've got two pieces to the teleprompter here and this piece i believe is going to be the camera mount we'll figure out how to mount that and then this obviously big piece here looks like it is the teleprompter itself now it's actually pretty light so i think a lot of people are going to use this like say on a tripod or a stand of some sort so you don't want it to be super heavy but oh man what i love about this is what you can see here is we've got the mirror right th oh hey you how you doing so you got the mirror right there, and then we have this opening, might be a little hard to see, opening right here. So it's basically, I don't know why they call them a two-way mirror. I feel like that means I could see through it either side. I mean, I feel like a two-way mirror is just a piece of glass. I feel like a one-way mirror where I can see through there and now you can see me, but if I flip it around, you're only seeing the reflection. I feel like that's a one-way mirror. So I may be using the terms incorrectly, but I actually think the terms aren't right all right so we have this teleprompter set up right here you can see my hand right there but then down here what we get is this matte finish screen that is built in here it actually kind of looks like oh i don't know like a nine or ten inch screen and so you don't have to fuss with having a tablet and an app and all of that you also have your camera mount holes right here on the bottom so i'm excited about that because like i said i want to definitely use this on a tripod and so depending on how big of a camera you're using if you're using a dslr right back here i mean geez you might just kind of put this onto the the camera but i like that there's a hole right here because then your balance point might be right here now if you're not putting a heavy camera maybe just a smartphone or something on the back you might want to use this little hole right there so what you would do here is you would take this off actually what it says here is for the face cam pro now i actually do use a face cam pro webcam it's fantastic but i use it with my computer so i won't use it with this but if you do have that which is like a 250 dollars webcam then you can use that right there with this now what i think you'll do here is you'll actually go ahead and put on this plate right here just like this in place of that 
And there are some tabs at the bottom here, so you might be able to see it kind of fits in the tabs on the bottom and then it leans forward. And now I can use these screws to hold this back in here. And then basically this will drape over your camera so you don't get light leakage coming in from the sides. All right, so if you're gonna use like a real camera, like a DSLR, you're gonna use this plate. And what you can see here is it has a little tab here on the bottom, so it's going to kind of connect in on the bottom right there, and then you're gonna flip it up, and then you're going to use those thumb screws to hold this in place. And then you're gonna attach one of these rings to your camera, and this is gonna basically allow you to slide this on to your DSLR. Now, I'm not actually using that. What I'm gonna use is a regular iPhone, which, I'm using right now because it takes amazing pictures and I'm kind of curious about the Rode shotgun microphone that I'm using with it. So you're going to put this in here just like that and put this on here just like that. And now this is going to allow the use of any camera to shoot through here. And this little hood is going to make sure that you're not getting light leaking in around there because it's not as tight of a seal as it would be with these tools for a DSLR and no glare or anything like that. So I really love that because I think for a lot of us, we're just using what we have, right? We're not gonna spend a lot of money on a setup. The other thing I wanna show you here is it says mount camera here. This is actually the top. So your smartphone, your iPhone, your camera like that will go on the top and then you have a little a hole here and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to install this little shelf here and just kind of position it for my phone I use the pro which is an oversized phone so it's probably gonna be pretty low but you want to get that camera centered as much as possible right there all right now that I have this little plate on I don't want to screw it in too tight yet because I'm not sure how high or low this will sit now it says use the L bracket for webcams I did not see one in my box I don't think it comes with it because I didn't see a spot where it would be in any of these boxes. And the nice thing is I already had one, but if you are going to use this with a webcam, you're gonna want one of these little mounting screw right there. And so what you are going to do then is instead of having it center mounted, you're going to offset mount it in one of these right here because obviously it's gonna hold the phone and then your camera is gonna be right there. So I'm just gonna kind of mount this on the side. What you can do is unscrew the thumb screw right here and then you can throw it up into one of these slots here and then install this and obviously I'm gonna have it open to the back because I'm gonna set it up while looking at it before I actually use it so all right so I think I have this generally set up for the webcam webcam would go in here I would center it right there now I'm just gonna go ahead and mount this like this onto this little tripod that's what I'll use to make sure that I get it to eye height in order to get myself to eye height when I was dating, I would wear elevator shoes. All right, this thing is starting to look like a real teleprompter. What you can see here is the camera would be in there, camera centered, right? So now I would be able to film through there and actually have to flip that to the other side there. But then you would just flip this down here. And the other thing I wanna show you here is, I was kind of wondering about this. There are a couple of cold shoes up here. So you could definitely have a light and you could definitely have my shotgun microphone up there as well. So, so far, so good. Now what I need to do is get this plugged into my computer. You can see right here, we have that USB-C plug on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer. There's actually some software that you have to download from Elgato which I think is basically going to reverse that image, allow you to control it. So what we'll have is a second monitor when I plug it into my laptop, and hopefully then we can test it out and see if this teleprompter actually works. All right, so I've got everything plugged in here. It does just find this monitor as a second monitor. I've got the microphone set up in the cold shoe mount here, and I've got the computer set up. Now, I did download the Elgato camera hub software which has like teleprompting software in it you can paste the document and then it will slowly scroll through it so that's really nice but i'm actually not using it right now so i just plug stuff in i'm not sure if the software is doing something or they have done something with the screen that is right here but it is working as a second monitor and flipping and reversing the image so that it looks perfect in the mirror. So I can see my web browser here. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can just kind of move it. So I've got my laptop right here. I've got the screen right there. I have done the little setup of the monitors in the settings section so that I can kind of drag things naturally between them. But what's really cool about this is that I can pull up 
like a document or a web page right here continue looking at this so if i'm doing some training a meeting maybe i'm showing you a presentation and you're looking at your screen well my inset picture is still going to be looking straight at you because i'm looking at it here i just actually pulled up auto blog i thought maybe i'd just see what's new in the world of cars and i'll just read you some of these headlines here and look at this there's no software i'm not using any software to move my eyeballs any ai to make me look like i am aligning my eyes i am literally looking at the articles as I'm scrolling through here. Las Vegas Grand Prix. Nine things I learned attending the F1 race in 2023. Lewis Hamilton's F1 winning 2013 Mercedes snapped up for nearly $19 million. Tesla Model X flies over a swimming pool and crashes into a house. Man, that's pretty cool. You know, Ford resumes building Michigan EV battery plant, delayed by strike, but scales it back. So what I really love about this is that this fixes the eye contact problem in an affordable way. You know, a couple hundred bucks is not a bauble. It's kind of an investment. But yet, if you are not a techie, if you do not want to get your DSLR up and your different adapters and, you know, microphones and have all this studio software running teleprompters, you just want to connect it. You're a simpleton like me. All you want to do is plug in a teleprompter, get it working with the technology you have, have good eye contact, do your training, do your web meetings, record videos, whatever it might be. This is the perfect way to do it. Man, I just love it. And I've got my laptop down here, so if I needed to do something else kind of off screen, I could still do that and just bring the images that I need to share, the presentations, the documents, whatever, up into the teleprompter and never lose eye contact. So I really love this Elgato teleprompter. If you want to pick it up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.